Welcome back. I'm Austin Westfall. Well, McDonald's is in the headlines today, and it's not for a great reason. E. coli food poisoning linked to McDonald's quarter pounder hamburgers has sickened at least 49 people in 10 states, including one person who died and 10 who were hospitalized, according to federal health officials. McDonald's releasing a video statement about the situation earlier today. Let's play this out. Hi, I'm Joe Erlinger, president of McDonald's USA. I wanted to take a minute to provide you with an update that we're communicating broadly because food safety is so important to me and everyone at McDonald's. Today, after close consultation with regulatory authorities, including the CDC, USDA, and FDA, we've taken steps to proactively remove slivered onions, which are used in quarter pounders from restaurants in select states. We also made the decision to temporarily remove the quarter pounder from restaurants in select states. The decision to do this is not one we take lightly, and it was made in close consultation with the CDC. It's important to note that the majority of states and the majority of menu items are not affected. Other beef products at McDonald's, including the cheeseburger, hamburger, Big Mac, McDouble, and the double cheeseburger are not impacted. This is a temporary change as the investigation continues and we are working quickly to return our full menu in these states as soon as possible. I hope these steps demonstrate McDonald's commitment to food safety. I also want to thank the teams working tirelessly to support this investigation. We will continue to update you on the actions we're taking. At McDonald's, you can count on us to do the right thing. Thank you. Okay, so that's what McDonald's is saying. In the meantime, though, we do want to bring in somebody who knows a thing or two about these types of situations. Bill Marler is a foodborne illness attorney. He's standing by. And Bill, thanks for coming on. Uh, first of all, what do we need to know about what the CDC is saying? We hear, we're hearing what McDonald's is saying. What is the CDC saying about the situation? Yeah, I mean, they're saying it's a fast moving, which tells me that Unfortunately, we haven't seen the end of the number of people that are going to be sickened, and I think that's quite sad. Um, I was uh, impressed by what McDonald's said with respect to what they were doing. I have to admit uh, the fact that they didn't, you know, express sympathy or sorrow for the people who've been sickened, the person who died, or the child who has suffered acute kidney failure is a little concerning. Um, but you know, in many respects, it because this is likely a, an onion E. coli outbreak. It's not likely linked to hamburger. Um, and, you know, in many respects, uh, McDonald's is a victim too. Um, you know, I obviously, I think they should express some concern for the their customers, but, you know, we really need to get to the bottom of how this outbreak happened, you know, where the contamination event occurred. I gotta ask you, how big of a deal is this? I can't help but think of the 2015 Chipotle outbreak. Does it feel like this is on yeah. that level? You know, it's it's a little early to say. I mean, Chipotle got hit with both E. coli outbreaks, salmonella outbreaks, and norovirus outbreaks, and then a criminal investigation. So I think hopefully for McDonald's, it won't be quite that bad. But we are seeing right now the early stages of this outbreak. We just don't know yet how many people are sick. Um, you know, the CDC statistics are for every one person counted, there's usually about 10 other people who are sick. And so you can, you know, do the math, you know, this is a much larger outbreak than I think is being reported. Um, and I think we'll see how the days, uh, you know, play out uh, in the next week or so. You know, it seems like they're still trying to nail down exactly what's going on here. Of course, we have our suspicions about what exactly is happening, but I got to ask you just from a general perspective, how do companies suss out issues like this? What are McDonald's officials likely doing behind the scenes in order to figure out what's going yeah, on? Yeah, that's a, that's a great question. And, and, you know, most of the time when an outbreak like this happens, you know, the company is working directly with both the FDA, the CDC, and various state partners. Um, they're trying to figure out what the common denominator is that people consumed. And it's clearly linked to quarter pounders. And then the real question is, is that can you link these illnesses to a particular part of that quarter pounder? I don't think it's the hamburger, to be honest with you, because that would require multiple McDonald's restaurants in 10 states undercooking hamburger 
relatively simultaneously, and I don't think that happened. So it really does does come to like a product like the slivered onions. Uh, there's usually not a kill step. They're fresh, um, and those are the kinds of products like other leafy greens, romaine lettuce, sprouts, that can carry E. coli and, you know, sicken and kill us. The CDC says that the one death so far has been reported in an older person in Colorado. One child has been hospitalized with severe kidney complications. If someone thinks they may be impacted, what do people need to know about this kind of stuff from a legal perspective? Yeah, I mean, the legal stuff will kind of work itself out. I think the, you know, frankly, you know, if, if somebody's having uh, diarrhea and then especially bloody diarrhea, um, they need to seek medical attention right away. E. coli 0157 is a deadly pathogen. Uh, 50 bacterium are enough to kill you, and uh, 100,000 of them would fit on the head of a pin. So, you know, this is a very serious situation. Like I said, the legal stuff's going to work itself out. Um, you know, uh, McDonald's is responsible for the food it produces. The onion supplier is responsible for the onions it produces. Uh, they have a responsibility to the consumers who consume that product. Yeah, and I think it's worth reiterating what this says from the CDC. Seek health care if you have severe E. coli symptoms, diarrhea, and a fever higher than 102 degrees Fahrenheit, so much vomiting that you cannot keep liquids down, and signs of dehydration like not peeing much or dry mouth and throat. Those are the signs they say to look out for. Bill Marler, can't thank you enough for coming on. Have a good night. Thank you very much. Thanks for covering the story. I really Absolutely. appreciate it. Absolutely. All right. All right.